and and Hi friends, welcome back to Rajagopal Tangavel's forum. In this session, we will discuss isometric into orthographic projection. In isometric projection, the 3D object is given. We have to convert this isometric 3D object into orthographic two dimensions in the front, top and side view. As we are following first angle of projection, look at the direction of the uh, observer standing here. So as an observer standing here, this is the left side view. Left view has to be drawn to the right of the front view as per first angle of projection. Now we can take any XY line. Afterwards, uh, we can fix what is the front view we can say. This is our front view. Front view we can see clearly this 60 mm. Take a 60 mm. There is no specific distance between this reference line and this front view. You can start anywhere above this reference line as the front view 60 mm. What about the height? Height this thickness is 10. You can refer this thickness as 10 mm. Above the thickness we are having the height as 55. So 10 plus 55 is 65. You can take the height as 65 mm and complete this thickness is 10 and extend fire complete the l shape of the front view so this being this is inclined we can clearly see this split up this line so what is the height from the base it is 45 so you can take from the base 45 mm complete this line so from the base we can take 45 complete this line what about this hollow portion? Hollow portion which is invisible as an observer standing here, he may not see this which one, a uh, circle or a hole. So for that, uh, we can take uh, out of 45 here, this is the height of 25. So at the 25, we are having the axis or center point of the circle. So from this uh, top L portion, from this L portion, we can take 25 mm, fix the axis. So fix the axis. Once again I repeat you can check the height of the circle from the base it is 25 that too from this length from this uh, dimension we have to take 25 fix the which one axis. After fixing the axis what about the diameter of circle is 16. So from the axis take 8 on the above the axis 8 below the axis for showing the hidden uh, view of this hole. Okay. So next one as we said in this uh, here this hole is invisible and also as an observer standing here he may not see this entire uh, arc this arc has to be shown by means of a hidden line what is this distance of this hidden line of this arc 12 mm you can see this is 12 mm and 12 plus the radius 8 20 so you have to take 20 mm from here 12 plus 8 20 mm from here to draw the hidden portion of these which one this arc so this is our front view so with this front view we can move on to our top view this is our top view so we can extend the projectors from all the corners all the visible edges of the front view and this height has like similarly same 60 so from the top also we can see this uh, length as 60 mm this length as 60 mm what about this uh, front view height it is 52 you have to remember the first angle of projection whenever you are drawing the top view this 52 may be parallel to xy if it is parallel to xy this 52 become perpendicular to the xy this reference line after rotating 90 degree so this height is 52 so this height is 52 you can see from here this is the 52 mm height complete this again the same thickness what about this thickness is representation of this portion so this thickness is again 10 mm uh, thickness and now this portion is completed from the top view we can say uh, this distance clearly so this distance is 18 so you can say this is 18 and from this side also 18 so take 18 mm from both the sides so take 18 mm from both the sides what about this completing this arc we have to take 12 so we have to take 12 mm on the both the sides so this length is 18 this length is 18 this length it is 18 and similarly this length also 18 so take 18 from both the ends here after taking 18 
check the r distance this is 12 so take 12 12 mm now you can extend the projectors from this is what we have shown as a hidden r in the front view we said this radius 8 he arc is hidden so you can extend the projector now now you can fix the midpoint of this uh, 12 mm line draw an arc with radius as 8 mm and also it is touching exactly on the front view of this hidden portion of arc now what about this cut surface uh, this cut surface is 35 mm so from the uh, along the 52 this is 52 mm this height is 52 mm from this top view we can say 35 mm we can see this portion this planting edge portion that is what we have drawn here so you can take uh, 35 from the top view so 35 from the top and uh, draw this line similarly this hidden uh, circle this circle or hole is invisible from the top view as an observer standing here this hole is invisible this hole or a circle is invisible for us for that we can take 20 mm from this side so, so same 35 you can take 20 so you can mark from the top 20 after marking 20 mm distance being ray, diameter as 16 radius is 8 so take 8 mm above the axis and 8 mm below the axis to show the hidden portion of this circle this is our top view so this length as we said this is 18 and similarly on another side this also 18 and what about this distance here you can see 12 mm so this is 12 mm then uh, this total height in the front is front as well as for the top it is 60 with this we can move on to the side view so after completing the front and top view for drawing the side view it is very easy and simple we are going to extend the projectors from both front and top so we can complete the side view now you can take any uh, distance uh, from this front and top view and draw any one vertical projector so from this point you can draw a 45 degree inclination line 45 degree inclination line whenever you are projecting the top view to the side view you always remember this procedure extend a projector parallel to this first reference line after cutting this 45 degree inclination line make it as a perpendicular projector make it as a perpendicular projector so draw a parallel projector to this xy reference line afterwards it's after it touches this 45 degree inclination you can make it as a perpendicular projector now you can extend the uh, projectors from all the boundaries you can see clearly this is our height in our front view also in the front view this is uh, in this is our left view we can see this clearly uh, this height 55 plus on this 10 mm thickness so as an observer standing here you can see this 10 mm height plus this 55 so total height is 65 so that is what we have completed with the help of front view now and this 52 has to be converted this 52 this is the 52 we can see from as an observer standing here so you can extend the projectors until it touches the 45 degree inclination line then make it as a perpendicular projector this length is 50 and then what about the thickness the same 10 mm this thickness can be clearly seen even though there is a cut we can see as an entire rectangle so this is again 10 mm thickness now you can uh, identify this cutting point what about this cutting point in the top view 35 mm from the top so this 35 this is the 35 top view you can extend a projector from here and you can extend it until it cuts the projectors of the front view now you can see what about this distance in the front view this slant edges has to be shown in the left side view this 35 is marked now we have to identify this 45 distance height so in the front view this is the 45 distance height from the base so you can mark that uh, 35 and 45 by extending the projectors and complete the inclined portion complete the inclined portion this is for uh, now you can check 
for completing the circle so from the left view we can clearly see this a uh, circle or a hole from the left side view as an observer standing here he can clearly see this so what about already we have completed this uh, hidden uh, hole in the front and top so you can extend the projectors see from both the side i extended a projector take the midpoint complete as circle with a diameter of a 16 mm this hit this portion what about this uh, portion arc portion is has to be shown in the Front view. Arc portion has to be shown in this uh, left side view. So you can extend the projector. This is the arc. So you can extend the projectors until it touches the corresponding side view. So this is the portion we can show by means of these two differences. Okay. Now you can mark the dimensions. This is 52 mm, and finally that this is 35. So from the top, this is 35 and you can check clearly this inclination it is 45 this inclination it is 45 so from the above 10 mm base above 10 mm base this is 55 above 10 mm thickness so this is 10 mm thickness above 10 mm thickness this is 55 mm height what about the radius of this uh, circle radius of the diameter of the circle is represented by 516 and similarly this is the radius of uh, 18 this is radius of 8 sorry radius of 8 so with this we have uh, drawn all this uh, uh, dimensions like this thickness is 10 mm and also for drawing the circle we used this 25 we used this 25 mm height by fixing this axis by fixing this axis we used 25 mm of uh, from here okay so uh, from the left side view we can clearly see this hole and this portion of the solid this portion of the solid with the inclination of this one can be clearly seen so that is what projected here but with the base this again 10 mm thickness this 10 mm thickness also can be seen from here but this distance 18 on both the sides 18 on both the sides so that is the 18 projectors we had extended see this brown color so 18 projectors in between we are having the curve surface so this is our final answer of orthographic projection in this uh, particular uh, 3d object so front view top view and this is the left side view has to be drawn which one left side view has to be drawn to the right of this uh, front view left side view has to be drawn right of this front view I hope uh, you understood this particular isometric projection. In the next video, we will solve one more isometric into orthographic projection problem. And uh, if you like this video, you can click the like button and also share the same with your uh, friends. And subscribe this channel for further videos.